say good morning, Means. And kangaroo dog today. Yeah. Okay. You want to go lay down? All right. What are we going with today? This one. Salem mug. I feel like this is the winner. everyone uh, or it might not be morning where you're at maybe a uh, good day <laughs> if we want to be extra fancy uh, good evening good afternoon whatever it is hope you're having a good day it is about nine o'clock in the morning which is a little bit later of a start than I'm used to it is already really bright by the way hello so today I figure we do a little morning slash afternoon slash uh, pre vlogmas vlog and if you're new here vlogmas is where it's kind of like vlogween but not as good where I vlog every day until Christmas and we do little things like make cookies and I may save the tree this year for vlogmas so I made myself some coffee I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast which means uh, you know, I'm gonna have some leftover pumpkin pie from Thanksgiving. It's my favorite time of year every single year I love when it's pumpkin pie for breakfast season and it has arrived. Also, I need to do a couple morning chores. I need to empty the dishwasher, wipe everything down, that kind of thing. Uh, then I wanted to get stuff ready to decorate. I'm getting ready to decorate for Gothmas or just for Christmas or the holidays or whatever. Um, I have some nutcrackers that I bought from Michael's. Oh, I was gonna do a haul. I have some nutcrackers that I got from Michael's that I was going to spray paint black. So we may do that today. Yeah, I don't know where the day is gonna take us, but we'll see what happens today. We'll just vlog throughout the morning. But for now, we're gonna make ourselves some pumpkin pie for breakfast. We'll sit down with Neens, have some coffee, some breakfast, and a little chit chat, and then we'll get our day started. So it's a little bit of a late start today, but hey, whatever, it's the holidays. We're gonna take like half the pie and eat it for breakfast. We're gonna put on some whipped cream. This is my favorite part, so we're gonna put a bunch in. Oh, hello. Oh man, I have to have a bite right now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Ains, here we come. All right, we got our pie going. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm. Sorry, Ains, you can't have any. So as I'm sipping my coffee and eating my pie and we're chit chatting it up figured this could be the perfect time to mention the sponsor for today's video which actually the pajamas i'm wearing today this pajama set is from tommy john which tommy john is the sponsor for today's video um if you haven't heard of tommy john before they have all sorts of different cozy loungewear pajama wear uh, underwear, all that kind of stuff. It's glorious. It's honestly the softest, most comfortable pajamas I've ever had. So I figured this would be the perfect time to mention Tommy John since we're getting into the holidays. Well, we're fully into the holiday season. I also know people are either looking for gift ideas, like maybe they want some new loungewear, or maybe you like buying matching pajama sets for your family, that kind of thing. Uh, Tommy John has all that kind of stuff. They also have a whole little gift guide if you're looking for some inspiration, loungewear, pajama sets. Um, bra and underwear sets, all that kind of stuff. I'm so excited about these pajamas because as soon as I put them on, I was like, Dallas, feel these! Because I'm like all obsessed with the feeling. Like I'm very weird. I don't know if anyone else is like this. I'm really weird about what I sleep in. It has to be soft. I don't like tags scratching me at night. I don't like any of that kind of stuff. And what I love about it too is their products are actually made for motion. So they're made to where they won't ride up. They don't bunch. They don't twist. As I wear this at night, sometimes I'll buy pajama bottoms and then by the time it's morning, they're like all the way up here, like up to my waist and they're just riding up and it's really uncomfortable. If you know, you know. Um, these bottoms did not ride up at all and the waistband is so it's like weightless and they have tons of different options they have holiday options and colors or if you're like me and you prefer to wear black I have a ton of different black items to choose from so anyway so I got this pajama set which I'm obsessed with I also got the Henley and the sweatpants you know I'm a sweatpants queen and I also got one of their bras which I was really excited about because I've been looking for some bras that I can wear with loungewear something that's a little more comfortable but doesn't like give me a uniform 
uniboob kind of thing. And they had the perfect bra, so I got one of those. I also got a pair, they had these holiday panties that were black with white snowflakes all over them. So, so, so soft, by the way. Also, because it is the holiday season, I got my husband a little gift. I got him a little pair of underwear, some holiday underwear. I'm really excited about all the things I got from Tommy John. I've never had anything quite this nice, but I love wearing these pieces, just lounging with my dog, sipping coffee, um, maybe responding to emails, finishing some editing, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, you can celebrate softness season with Tommy John. You click the link down in the description box. Uh, you can get 20% off. If you use my code, and I'll put my code right here, and you can get 20% off, and the code only lasts until December 17th. Uh, definitely try it out if you've been looking for some matching PJs or some new loungewear items or underwear situations. Highly, highly recommend Tommy John. All right, so I'm gonna finish my pie. So whatever crust I got this last time was really spicy. Like really, really, what's going on here? Really spicy. Like almost, I'm not sure how I feel about it spicy. Like gingery. Hold on, is Bailey up? Huh. Oh, what do you think, bud? We need to trim your nails, huh? You say hi to everybody? Say I'm an old boy? All right, so back to our pie. Here, you need coffee, just cold. It's been really cold, which I loved on Thanksgiving. It was really cold. I love it when it's cold on Thanksgiving. The ovens can be heating up the house and everything. And then a big old plate of comfort food. What are we doing today? I feel like we're gonna I need to empty my dishwasher and clean up my kitchen a little bit. My house is a total disaster. I don't even want to show you right now. All right, I'll show you. I've got all these boxes of stuff ready to go for HO7S. We're getting ready for our launch. Lots and lots and lots of boxes. But just until we come up with another solution, uh, we were trying to get some shelving and stuff like that to put the shirts on, like shelves, like metal shelves or whatever. A lot of stuff is on back stock or there's low stock, I'm sure, because of the shipping situation or... But yeah, we've got boxes everywhere. So I can't do too much uh, holiday. Like I got all my holiday boxes out. Like all the totes are up here except for my Christmas tree, which is down in the basement. Uh, but everything else is up. I still have some Halloween to take down, by the way. <laughs> but it's mainly the stuff that's going to be up all year round. So I don't know what to do with it. I don't really want to box it up because then I'm going to have to get it back out. So I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. So yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> what we're doing also look at these roots i kind of have my hair parted so you don't see how bad they really are <laughs> they're really bad um i'm hopefully we'll do those tonight i've been trying to let my hair fade out i'm trying to let it fade out naturally and it's it's getting there but it's not all the way there i might just try to wash it one more time before i bleach it because once i bleach my roots it's gonna be really hard to match the roots to the ends if the ends are still orange and the roots are all white I don't know what to do. <coughs> Whoa, that hit me hard. Anyways, do you guys have any holiday traditions? Do you do stockings for your pets or gifts for your pets? Let me know if there's something that you do, like a tradition down in the comments. We don't really have, like our dogs now are kind of to the age where they have toys, but they're not really interested in playing with them anymore because they're both 16. Neens has never really been into toys. She's just, she thinks she's human, I think. And Bailey used to love toys. He play nonstop. You could throw a ball across the room 300 million times and he still wouldn't be tired of it. Our Neens just never really cared. She had a couple toys she liked to hump when she was younger. And now she's totally over it. I haven't decorated yet, but you know, it's still November. Still November. We got time, people. We got time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm hoping to get decorated by December. We'll see how it goes. Slightly depressing because I still find little Halloween things throughout the house and it just makes me so sad, but also I'm just like, it like just adds that little bit of a like, just twist that little in there, like that it's not Halloween anymore. <laughs> this Dallas is in the basement working out which is what we should be doing but I don't know it's the weekend I'm not <laughs> I'm like I'll get started next week <laughs> put this away put this here uh oh my hair I'm reloading this fully forgot 
I'm just glad we get a couple of days between Thanksgiving and December because remember that one year, what was it, a couple years ago when it was like Thanksgiving and then December was like a couple of days later and it felt like there was no time between Thanksgiving and December. That was a crazy year. I need like a solid nap after Thanksgiving. Is anyone else like that? Like I need like a day or two to, you know, get it together. I'm gonna wipe down the rest of the kitchen and then we'll go up and get ready. I'm, I really don't know what we're doing today. I had all these plans and now I'm just like, I don't wanna do any of it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go up and get showered and get ready and I'll meet you guys back down here. Maybe we'll put on makeup together. I don't know. I'm just gonna do a little quick something on the face. Nothing too fancy. These roots are on another level. Babe, we gotta do my hair. Uh, what is this? Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And it's in the shade six. All right. Well, I'm going outside the lines. I put a little concealer on my lids. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I'm just gonna put, what shade is this? Pale? That about sums it up. This is horrible. What do I have? Anything at all, just put it on. Okay, we just need to keep it moist. <laughs> oh Lord. Everything's just so dry. Oh, winter. All right, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm gonna go into this orangey shade. More of like a brownish orange than like this super bright orange. Oh, this is extra fancy actually. I wasn't even planning on being this fancy today, but let me, I'm gonna blending it into the crease like so. There we go. We're not doing and spending a ton of time on it. Other side. Just a quick little something. I'm deciding whether or not I want to put on lashes. Part of me is like, no, ghoul, if you're not doing anything, you don't need to put on lashes. But then the other part of me is like, well, if I'm putting on a whole makeup look, might as well put on lashes. So then I'm gonna go into this shade. What is this one? Burnt, burnt orange. Looks like light orange to me, but Whatever, we're gonna put it on over everything and help blend this last one out. And it shouldn't take too long, we're done. Other side, <laughs> same thing. And this brush is just a ColourPop E1 brush. I don't know what that means, but I1. I don't know if they sell this still. It's old, but it pretty much does everything. Anyways, hope you guys had a good weekend. If you got any good deals on anything, let me know if you got anything during Black Friday sales. What you got? I looked at the Dyson vacuums because I was wanting to upgrade. And we need another one because ours, like the battery life is 2.5 seconds because we've had it for so long. Like years. How long have we had that? What? How long have we had the... Uh, I don't know, a long time. For foundation I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, I did get some of this during Black Friday. Uh, foundation in the this is the luminous foundation in the shade one 110c and 100n use both of these at the same time it's my favorite because one's too light well no i wouldn't say too light one slightly too yellow and then one slightly too dark that's kind of how i feel about it they had these on sale on their website for like really cheap so i got that for black friday so we're doing our makeup so we can spray paint some stuff. You now when I'm already feeling a little bit more energetic, putting a little bit of makeup on. Just feel less dead, but still, you know, dead. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the spooky season alive, people. Which I'm already planning for next spooky season, are you? Or are you like in full haul? I mean, I, I'm in holiday mode and spooky season mode all at the same time. So I'm like thinking about next year and <laughs> trying to live in the moment at the same time, I just get so excited because it happens faster than we think, you know? I mean, like when is halfway to Halloween? Like like five months away? That's really not that far. Can you really think about it? It's just around the corner. I need to wax my unibrow. <laughs> but we'll do that another day. We'll just embrace it today. I mean, it's, it's crazy because it, the, the rest of my brow barely grows in. They're like little sparse pubes. And then you have my unibrow, it's like a full 
<laughs> bush of a situation. I don't get it. Now, oh shoot, you know what? My concealer's downstairs, so we're just gonna use some foundation. Uh, I don't know if this is working that well as concealer. I'm gonna go back into that orange. Ah, and we're gonna put it on the bottom lash. Oh, we forgot to put on powder. Hard, we're all mixed up now. Oh, I'm using the Milk Makeup Translucent Powder. I love this stuff. Continue our quick get ready situation. Orange shade underneath the lash line. Let's throw it on there real quick. I have no limits when it comes to the lash line underneath because it hides the wrinkles, y'all. And there we go. Oh, feeling better already. I'm gonna go out and spray paint some stuff. I'm ready, are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. Not quite ready. Normally I do, oh here it is. Sephora Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner. This is what I use to tight line. I do the possessed method as always. And hello. Look how dry. <laughs> Let me spray this. We'll fix it. Iconic London Prep Set Glow. We're putting this on. I think if we can't be dewy, we're gonna fake it. Until we make it. Is that better? No. Whatever, it smells good. I'm gonna put some of this on. This Sephora. Waterproof eyeliner. I love this stuff. Felt tip, felt liner. I want it with this. And I just do a little thing, like just on the line. And I'm like literally down to nothing on this liner, which honestly makes it easier to put on for this type of look, where I'm just barely lining it just to make my lash line look thicker. Oh lord, there's nothing left in this thing. Come oh, on, the <laughs> Just one liner. Give me something. Where's my lash curler? Screw it, we're not doing it. This is the milk. What are you? Uh Kush waterproof mascara. And I don't think we'll, maybe we won't wear lashes today. Oh no. Whoops. <laughs> I've been doing a different bronzer lately because because my hair color has been warmer. So when I had silver hair, I would do more of a cool tone bronzer because because the warm tone bronzer would look like I, I would look like an oompa loompa. Here's what I've been using: Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is called Italian Summer. That's what it's called, and I really this is what it looks like. I really like this. So if you were in the same boat and you went orange or red or Whatever, if you have a warmer tone hair color and you're like, oh man, I don't have a bronzer that matches me now. This one's really nice. It also has a highlighter and blush. I've been using this blush a lot too because it's kind of like a warmer peach color. I'm gonna go in. This brush is Real Techniques. This is older than the freaking hills. I think this is this brush is older than my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm gonna go into this blush shade. I'm going to put some blush on. Like so. We're gonna, I think, end up doing my roots either tonight or tomorrow morning or afternoon or night. I don't know, but I just threw on some dry shampoo because I wasn't gonna, it takes me like 300 hours to dry this hair. So I'm gonna go into this Rouge and Rogue Familiar Spirits palette into this shade. I love this. Howl. Howl. Arr. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put this on the inner corner. We're just going all in. I'm not gonna wear lashes today. I'm gonna embrace my natural stubs and we might brush our hair just a little something or where's my other one everyone rants and raves about the wet brush which i do like the wet brush okay but i feel like it kind of tears up my hair where i'm more of a tanger tang tanger tangle teaser gal i like or ghoul it just i feel like it doesn't pull my hair as bad as the wet brush does it sounds worse, but it's not. It's like barely, I feel like it doesn't really, this is the smoothing one, so I'm just going over the top of my hair anyway. I feel like, tanger, tanger teaser. So I'm just gonna start calling it because I can't get it right. Tangle teaser, kind of cool. 
We've got our Henley on. <coughs> Woo! Okay, we're done. We're done getting ready. We're gonna go out and spray paint some stuff. Actually, I'll probably end up wearing my hair up so we don't get it in the way. Where's my hair tie? What do we do with that? We're gonna go spray paint some nutcrackers is what we're gonna go do. So here's our wooden nutcracker we're gonna spray paint. Got this at Michael's. And I think we're just gonna lay them down like so. I got my gloves on because I'm not trying to spray paint my nails. So I know, look how funny this is. I had two of the same hand. So I have one on the correct hand and the other one is, hello, nice to meet you. I'm also gonna use this. This is the Rust-Oleum. I don't know what this is, painter's, painter's touch, whatever. It's flat black and that's all that matters. So we're gonna go with this. Doing okay, so far so good. Just trying to keep a decent distance so it doesn't get all drippy and gross. Oh my gosh, already a huge improvement. Step one of gothifying the nutcracker is complete. I'm still undecided if I'm doing matte black or glossy black. Let me know in the comments what you think. So right now it looks glossy, but this is gonna dry matte. So do you like it looking glossy? Or do you think the matte would look good? Let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, we gotta let this guy dry. So it'll be a couple hours. It'll be well into the afternoon slash evening. So we're gonna let this all dry. I have another one to do, but I'm debating whether or not I'm doing it now uh, because I may not waste matte black paint on the other one if I decide to go glossy. I'll just go get my glossy paint. So I'm gonna wait and see how this guy turns out before I decide. So uh, you'll see it here on the holiday video coming up. Anyways, I'm all excited. We did some spray painting. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing in my fancy makeup, but I at least feel more productive when I feel a little bit more put together. So let me know uh, what you did this weekend, any projects you did. Anyways, let's chit chat in the comments about all the things. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.